Hello, my name is Patrick and I'm a curated golf expert and I have helped over a thousand people get in the right golf clubs. And today I'm going to be talking about the Cobra LTDX LS. I also want to mention that I'm not sponsored by any brands or manufacturers, so all of my opinions are completely unbiased. So my first impressions of the club was it is very simple looking. It's uh, very much let the club do the talking kind of thing. Uh, simple black finish on top. Uh, the CNC milled face always looks super cool. So overall, at first, it, uh, first appearance, it looked wonderful. It looks like a great club. Cobra claims that it is the longest total distance. It is going to be an absolute monster, and that's a big claim considering who they're up against this year. And also having Kyle Berkshire play the driver along with Bryson DeChambeau, they claim it is the longest driver on tour. Oh, monster. That sound is so good. Yeah, just so this club is gonna be great for people that maybe hit the ball way too high, wanna drop their spin down a little bit. The driver is a little bit fade biased, so maybe if you have a problem hooking the ball a little bit, this might be an ideal option for you as well. Um, it's gonna be targeted more towards uh, faster swing speeds. Uh, typically people that swing the club faster, they're gonna put more spin on the ball and this is gonna help drop those spin rates down a little bit. It also it might be great for people that come really steep into the ball and that produce a lot of backspin on the driver. This could be a very good option for them as well. I feel like this driver isn't gonna be good for people that um, naturally fade or slice the ball, people that already have a low penetrating ball flight, um, people that need help lifting the ball up in the air a little bit more, probably not gonna be the best option for them. Or people with really, really slow swing speeds, probably also not gonna be the best option for them either. So the new technology in this driver, or at least the piece that I'm most excited about, is how they've optimized the face. They have about 16 little spots all over the face to optimize all of your miss hits. So no matter where you hit it on the face, it has found the best way to correct it based on your miss hit. So to me, that's very exciting and I'm very interested to see how that turns out. So when it comes to distance, this club's an absolute monster and forgiveness. I thought it was exceptionally forgiving when it comes to, um, for, for it being such a, a low spinning head. So distance and forgiveness, it checks all of the boxes. As far as shot shaping goes, with Cobra, personally, I've always struggled to shape those drivers a little bit. I feel like the feel in the face is rather dull and it's hard for me to correct and know where I'm at and where I'm hitting it. That is just my personal opinion on it though. For me, this whole line of drivers are very much a point and shoot kind of driver. I gotta say for this driver, there's not anything overly unique about the appearance other, may, other than maybe the CNC milled face. It always looks super cool. But other than that, it's a very simple looking driver, very traditional looking shape. Um, it's nothing that's gonna be overly distracting and it's gonna let the club do the talking for you. The only players that could possibly shy away from this driver are people that are looking for just maximum distance or people that are already sliced the ball a whole lot or something like that. This is not gonna be the ideal option for them. I have to say the sound of it, at least for me, wasn't the most impressive thing about it. I'm not gonna say it sounded dead, but it wasn't as satisfying as the results I was getting from it. The results from the driver were great, but the sound and feel, I feel like did not, represent what I was getting out of the club. For some people that are very numbers driven and that doesn't matter to them, this would be a great driver for you. I'm very much a feel, uh, feel based player. So for me, it was kind of unsatisfactory, but if you're looking at pure results and the feel of the club isn't something you're overly concerned about, I think this is probably gonna be one of the top options for you. So this driver is adjustable by loft. Now, when you click on that link and you talk to one of the experts, if you're not a fan of the fade bias, let us know. We can talk to Cobra, we can get some weights, uh, get a weight set for you, and we can make it a little bit, put a little bit more weight in that heel and make it draw bias for you as well. So it sets up fade bias, it, uh, it is adjustable by loft, but if you want to tinker with that, talk to us, we can get you a weight kit and we can sort that all out for you. The only drawbacks to this club for me were honestly the feel of it. That was the only thing about the driver I was not a fan of. And again, that's just me personally. If you're a fan of the Rad Speed, if you played Cobra for a few years now, you're absolutely going to adore this golf club. It checks every single box. But for me personally, the feel of the club was a little bit unsatisfactory. This driver is gonna be great for people that maybe hit a little bit of a hook, um, for people with fast swing speeds, people that have a high ball flight that are trying to drop it down, or for people that are coming in steep, this is gonna provide a very good option for them. I think anybody that already has a problem slicing the ball, people that already have a low penetrating ball flight, I would, I would steer away from this one, maybe go to the LTDX Max instead. This is definitely geared towards the better player, a lower spinning head. It's their lowest spinning driver ever, so you need to have the swing speed to back that up. So all in all, I was very impressed by this driver. The results were great. It seemed very easy to hit. 
I'm excited for people to try it. I mean, if you've been a fan of Cobra and you love the Rad Speed Driver, this is gonna be a great choice for you. And I'm excited for everyone to give it a shot. And if you like what you see here and you wanna see more videos by Curated, click the link in the description.